Shout out to the big homie, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, everybody wants to throw shade at this dude right now, but I appreciate the lifestyle that he lives, okay? Less said about his climate change nonsense and his, you know, say one thing about greenhouse gases or whatever the new hotness is and then just hop on his private jet to go bang another 20-something-year-old. But no, 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 he really is le or l living the life. He is one of a very few, very select group of people that are legitimate movie stars. One of the most famous people on earth. And best thing, the most consistent thing about Leonardo DiCaprio, the older he gets, his girlfriends always stay the same age. They're always legal too, which also separates him from a lot of Hollywood. Let's keep it a buck. Leonardo DiCaprio is trolled over his breakup with a 25-year-old Camilla Mon or Moreau I don't know who this bitch is. She looks, she's fine and all, but let's be completely honest. You think he's going to be single for very long, okay? Don't you think he probably has at least 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand bitches that are just willing to fucking hop on that Leonardo DiCaprio Express? Like, let's fucking keep it a stack here, guys. The internet was set ablaze when news broke Tuesday that Leonardo DiCaprio and his much younger girlfriend, much younger, like, let's get fucking, let's run the numbers. And we're going to, trust me. Camilla Monroe reportedly split after four years of dating. She is 25. They started dating when she was 21. Oh, my guy takes their best years and gives them the old Derek Jeter gift basket. Thanks for coming. Now fuck off. This is how every man would live if he had the opportunity to do it. And you know it. I know it, and I'm trying my fucking damnedest to live that life because, again, you can give me an absolute dime piece that's 27 years old, okay? I'm going to take that 21-year-old every fucking situation if they're both on equal footing when it comes to looks, okay? Even if the 20, the 19 or the 20-year-old is an 8 and the 27, 28-year-old is a 9 or a 10, no, no, no. I'm going for the younger one with less mileage, less miles of dick run through her. That's just the fucking fact. I don't want to have to make anybody else's mental hookups sort through their baggage. I ain't about I ain't about that shit. Neither is Leo. Good on him. Twitter users immediately trolled the 47-year-old DiCaprio. How the fuck are you going to do that? He's not even going to see this shit and it's not even going to fucking matter. It's not going to affect his dating pool one fucking second because he's a 47-year-old a plus tier actor okay there's like brad pitt who's going through his shit right now because he ended up shacking up with a bitch who was predatory as a motherfucker and johnny depp who again just copy paste that okay and that played out in the public eye as well and uh do you think he's uh starving for trim at the moment i don't really think so george clooney he ended up cashing out at what 50 something just about 60 with the best option he had available after living the dicaprio lifestyle for a long fucking time he was a confirmed bachelor was anybody hopping on his fucking dick about this stuff back then no 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 but now for dicaprio obviously he's getting trolled online by a bunch of broads who would you know, let's be completely honest not measure up to any of his previous exes would love the opportunity but would never okay they wouldn't be able to clear the regulations to hop on the amusement ride that is dicaprio who is said to only date women under 25 well, he's never said it we've just seen the numbers and run them back over his inevitable breakup with the model who just turned 25 in june Round of applause, pump and dump, it's, it's adorable. I'm sure they had a wonderful four years together, but bitch, you're getting too old. I'm starting to see some crow's feet develop and the guess what? Unfortunately for you, mm, there's one Leonardo DiCaprio. There's a new batch of 18 year olds becoming of age every single fucking day. So, oh well, maybe Leonardo DiCaprio hated 9-11 so much that he didn't even date women who remember it. Did you, oh, did that ever occur to you? Okay, that's just not terribly funny, I guess. Like, okay, maybe DiCaprio feels bad for all the women who can't rent a car until they are 25. Okay, this is funny. And actually a really good guy. Uh, did you ever, did that ever occur to you? Yeah, he wants to just, you know, Drop him off at school every day. DiCaprio, when his girlfriends reach 25, uh, and then, yeah. Clip of a woman throwing a baby into a fire. Let's uh, fucking keep it a stack. If we were to go and uh, search through your Twitter timeline, I'd imagine there's probably a few abortion, or pro-abortion clips, let's be honest. DiCaprio will dump when he's 72 and was born today. Oh. Oh, the girl DiCaprio will dump uh, when he's 72 is born today. That's funny. 
that's fucking funny. Uh, there's no phenomenon on this planet more reliable than DiCaprio breaking up with his girl at age 25. The stats are breathtaking. I want to get to those stats right now because, yeah, no, that's that's what he's just getting rid of. OK, and again, it doesn't really much matter. And again, once you achieve that level of success and status in your life, you don't really need, you know, the six pack abs. OK, I'm, I'm sure I think he's like just about the he's not over six feet tall, but he's in on or around that area. Area. From a physical standpoint, he's not really that much of a specimen, but he's Leonardo DiCaprio. Status of a man is the most important attraction characteristic for a woman, okay? It might fuck you if you look good, okay? But to stay with you long term, to commit with you into any sort of form or fashion, you need some form of status. They'll say that they don't want to fuck a plumber, okay? But if somebody's running a plumbing company, oh yeah, no, no, all of a sudden that guy, that exact same guy, okay, she's going to all, all of a sudden start finding that plumber's crap a little bit more attractive but shout out to sarah Lerner or some shit like that because she's got the she's got the graph okay and we're gonna go ahead and pull up the graph here because yeah man it really 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 is something something to behold okay DiCaprio dating all the way back to 1999 he when he was 24 years old he was dating an 18 year old giselle bunchen giselle bunchen huh where have we heard that name before? Maybe that's why uh, Tom Brady's still at the league at 45 years old. He'll need to prove himself, okay? Because you can continue to win Super Bowls, but you can't win an Oscar. That's unfortunate. And yeah, dumped the supermodel. One of the legitimate supermodels that are out there. Right at the ripe old age of 23. I got a couple more years left in there, but again, well, that relationship ended up going, what, six years? Yeah, that that's long enough. And then he moved over to Bar Raffaele. Oh, one of the former, former incredibly hot swimsuit, or yeah, swimsuit models for Sports Illustrated. Oh, what a time to be alive when she was 20. And then dumped her at 25. Sounds about right. Oh, and then he fucked Blake Lively for a minute. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of blondes right there. He's definitely got a type. Hot and young. Wow. <laughs> Big shocker. Blake Lively, uh, for a minute. Oh, okay. 23-year-old Blake Lively. Oh, that's a perfect vintage right there. She's so goofy cute. Like, whatever. Erin Heatherthorne. I'm not entirely sure who that is. That name doesn't ring a bell, but she was 22 years old in 2012, so congratulations. Oh, we're the exact same age. Now I'd have no interest in you. Um, Tony Guerin. Don't know who that is, but again, she was 20 and 21 years old, so back in the cut. Hey, she's, she's, yesterday's, yesterday's news. Kelly Rohrbach, again, it's probably another model, but she was 25. Oh my God. What'd you pick her up at? To the old folks home? And then Nina Agdahl, she's another model, I think. Well, to be fair though, he only dates like legitimate nines and tens. Let's fucking keep it a stack. But we also don't see the other chicks that he's out there fucking, you know, railing on the side who are probably hotter than these girls. Let's also, if you know about those dynamics as well, okay. You claim the ones that you would find presentable in public, but you fuck the sexy ones in private. Okay, that's the way this shit goes. Nina Agdal, and then finally, the aforementioned Camille Monroe picked her up at the ripe old age of 20. Just after she got her associate's degree, it's like, bitch, you don't need that right now. I got you for another couple of years, okay? People reported the magazine, not like actual people out in the streets, even though I'm sure they're probably spurging out about that anyways. Uh, reported Tuesday that the Oscar winner had split from the Daisy Jones and the Sixth Star. I don't know what the fuck that is. It sounds that could either be a music act, uh, it could be a television show, it could be a movie, but it's not getting nominated for anything, and that wouldn't really much matter because the time's a ticking. I just wanted to show this picture that was right there at the bottom. That's a much younger Giselle Bunchen, and that is not Tom Brady right there. And boy, does she look enamored with that guy right there. That is alpha energy. You can watch as many YouTube videos as you want, but you will never learn how to do that, okay? That is a presence. That is something you are fucking born with. But it doesn't really look like he's taking the uh, breakup that hard, if we're being completely honest. And hey, man, good on him. Gabriel has been partying every night with pals without Camille Mon Monroe. I don't know what pals without is, but uh, again, maybe that's a typo. Maybe that's just a thing I don't get or know. Uh, sources tell, oh, sources say, page six, that uh, DiCaprio has been partying with his pals while his now ex-girlfriend, Camille Monroe, has been on vacation in Saint-Tropez with her mom. Oh, that's adorable. He, he sent his ex-girlfriend and his mom out on vacation. It's like, well, thank you for your time. Where would you guys like to go? I'll just go and send you somewhere. I'm just going to be here, so you're going to be going 
going somewhere else and, and hopefully you had a wonderful time and have a wonderful lo wonderful life you washed up old hag but also if you take a look at his uh, previous dating history uh like giselle bungeon uh blake lively like i know a bunch of these girls ended up getting like married like right quickly so he's also got that whole alpha imprint swagger about him where you know what knowing that uh yeah the girls that he's dumped never going to be able to get to that level once again so the next most successful guy that comes around immediately snaps him up okay because ryan reynolds is pretty funny okay but he ain't no leo the scenester told us that leo has been out partying every night he's been hanging with his old crew and some girls oh yes he has and we got pictures of that uh, the insider said DiCaprio's breakup became public this week. I thought it was a little weird when Camillo was in Saint-Tropez. DiCaprio was also photographed in Malibu by day, looking more svelte, heading to the pal or to party at a pal's house uh, in the beach. Oh, so we started to slim down? Oh, wow. So when he was uh, rocking that dad bod during the coof times, um, he was getting a little comfortable. He knew that he had a couple of years of leeway, and then all of a sudden, he started to trim down. No, no, babe. Don't worry. It's just for a role. I'm not going to be replacing you with some uh, with a younger model with a... A 2022 model anytime soon. No, don't worry about it. We're, we're all copacetic. Caprio owns a $13.75 million Malibu oceanfront spread in the area that he bought last year. It's listed at $10 million property owns in Carbon Beach, locally known as Billionaire's Beach uh, for its rich residents. Rep for the star had no comment about his Malibu activities or his split from Monroe. He's like, who? I have no idea. Because let's be honest, he's probably already replaced her with five other bitches. Because there you can see right there, that's apparently a candid shot that's out there on the street. And you can see a bitch in the background there who is eyeing the fuck out of him. And I don't know about their relationship, but the Daily Mail kind of had some Something on that and i'm not entirely sure if this is you know straight up and it's really tough to tell grainy picture in the background and then that one there they could also have the same dress or something like that but a 22 year old russian model again just round of applause but he's not really one for brown hair so i don't know man you might have to switch that up but again they'll get in line if they know that you have others in line uh, the 22-year-old pictured with newly single DiCaprio. Well, not really. Again, there's that picture right there. And then she's very much in the background. So she's just sizing him up. It's like, oh boy, I'll finally be the one. <laughs> yeah, keep thinking that. Keep living that dream. Uh, newly single DiCaprio and saint Tropez in July reverted to her maiden name. Oh, you're getting pumped and dumped, sweetheart. Let's be completely honest because you really think he's going to be taking somebody who's previously been married seriously? Come on now. Uh, the trip after divorcing husband who is linked to Libyan dictator Gaddafi. Oh, wow. So he's got an NFL player, um, a well-known actor as well. And then he's going to be big time in the fucking Muammar Gaddafi. Listen, man, I wasn't a big Leo fan back in the day, but then he started to work with Scorsese and uh, I at least got to put some respect on his name when it comes to his accomplishments in the industry so and then it was just icing on the cake the fact that he just kicks a bitch to the curb whenever she hits 25 and they started getting lippy rumors of the split have been burbling in months in may the titanic star wow uh, was seen comforting monroe after they shared an emotional conversation on the beach in malibu yeah that's adorable caprio was seen vacationing without his gal pal in europe over the summer he was on a yacht in saint tropez hanging out with a group that included spiderman uh toby mcguire and a long part of DiCaprio's inner circle uh, that was once infinite, infamously known as the Pussy Posse. It, okay, cool. By the guys themselves, I kind of doubt that, but there could have been one beta in the group that uh, really liked the name, I guess. But he's out there banging models, okay? And good for him. That's definitely, you know, that's apex life right there. That is what every man would uh, do if they had the ability to do it. Claim a main chick, fuck everything in the close proximity, okay? Men are only as faithful as their options. They can choose to exercise them or not, but if the option is there and the risk is low, guys are gonna do what guys are gonna do. And while women will continue to find this disgusting and terrible and, oh, they'll troll him online for being a philanderer and just throwing these these precious women to the side they continue to line up time after time okay so you know that the clock is running so let's just take let's just go with daily mail's reporting that the 22 year old is next in line which i don't know why you just hop from relationship to relationship but man, it's totally within your prerogative okay do whatever you want to do okay it's clearly clearly working out for you
area. There's a lot of truths to be gleamed from this, okay? Remember, he was the star. He was Jack Dawson in Titanic. Okay, the most memorable part of that long, overbloated fucking film. Again, James Cameron, you and the, the fucking Titanic and Avatar. It almost makes up for the fact that you were also, you know, the instrumental in Terminator and Aliens as well. I haven't seen Aliens, but I know a lot of people like it. But I have watched, you know, Terminator and T2 is fucking amazing. But again, James Cameron with his overlong, overboring fucking uh, shows like that first Avatar film. It was super hot for a second and then nobody fucking remembers that nonsense. But it was the highest grossing film of all time, okay? Surpassing Titanic. But then it got surpassed by Endgame, which is another fucking clusterfuck. But anyways, regardless, regardless. People still remember Titanic for whatever that's worth. That came out in the late fucking 90s, for Christ's sakes. We, family has the VHS tapes of it. I remember the guy who fell off the Titanic and then bounced off the propeller blade and that's what every guy remembers. But all the girls seem to remember and, you know, hold on to the final shot of the old bitch with the fucking, you know, the necklace and shit, you know. She still remembers Jack Dawson on that overly large barge and then the water was cold and that they both could have clearly stayed on, but the whole romantic scene of, I'll never leave you, Jack, and then lets him go and die in the fucking ocean, and then she ends up surviving and then getting married and having a bunch of grandkids, but then, oh, we still remembering that experience she had on the Titanic with that one man, hmm, being alpha widowed, as it were. It's almost like Leonardo DiCaprio took that casting, took that role personally, and now that's how he's living the rest of his life, okay? He's just waiting out there, okay, on the little swimmy th right there in the pool, one of his many, many, many houses that he has out there, okay? And once that bitch turns 25, he just decides to go underneath the water, and it's like, I'll catch you later, here's the, make sure you just keep that diamond, okay? And then they just go on, they live their happy lives, and he's just continuing to be out there, just alpha widowing all of the hottest bitches in the world. Hey man, I, congratulations for him. He is living his best life. People will pillory him, people will take exception with the way that he lives his life. I think it's tremendous. He is simply the living embodiment of both the male and the female sexual strategy, okay? For the men, unlimited access to unlimited sexuality case in point younger tighter hotter okay and then once they age out kick them to the fucking curb and then for women oh my god he's so misogynistic and evil and he only dates those young women because they're impressionable but yet at the same time guess what they're fucking grabbing the ticket okay they're grabbing the token and hopefully their chocolate bar has that little golden ticket so they can get into the fucking club so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone